This trade lasted about three minutes. If you are scalping and closing using the mouse, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. You need to use hotkeys. One of the best traders of our generation said that both scout, intraday, and even swing traders should use hotkeys in order to maximize their trades. So many people on retail are not using hotkeys. If you're losing pennies or 10 cents or, or, or dollars in every single one of your trades because you're sloppy or you don't have a stop in and you do that every single trade, that slippage is super material. And in this video, I wanna show you the benefits of using hotkeys and how to set them up in a trading platform. So first, let's talk about the benefits of using hotkeys. If we look at this trade, this is a 2R trade. Um, if you look at the original stop loss was about, all right, so about 521. That's the price we entered at around here. So this is pretty much like a, a 2R trade. And what I did is as price pulls up and pulls back, what I'm doing is uh, we have this doji here and I, I didn't enter quite yet, uh, but as this candle closed, normally I'd enter there, but as this candle closes, uh, for whatever reason I entered over here, as this candle closes, as price is moving up, I hit the hot key, boom, and I'm in right here. If I would have gotten in about here, then this would be a four hour trade. If you wait and get in here, then that becomes a one hour trade. So one of the first benefits that I want to mention about using hotkeys is you can significantly change the amount of money that you'll make by getting in sooner. So let's use some actual dollar figures. Where I got in was about 521. So risking, let's say, a thousand bucks on this particular trade. I say I risk a thousand, okay? And this is a two R as this starts to reject, I'm here. This is, you can risk about 1000 to make 2.9, great return. But even greater, if I would enter it on the candle close here, right there, I got in a little bit faster. I mean, same trade idea. It's the exact same trade idea. If I would have got in at the candle close, one price pushed down and starts to move back up, let's say, uh, I hit, you know, buy the ask when it was down here. Now I'm at 3,600. Not much of a difference in, for the trade idea. Now, let's say if I, I even get a, an even worse entry. Let's say this candle's moving and I'm trying to go put in my parameters. I'm not using hotkeys. Let's say I get in here. Now that same trade idea where I took out 3,600 at one point, I made a third of that with the same exact trade idea because I didn't hadn't used hotkeys or I gotten in a little bit slower, right? So this is pretty big. This is very important. I can't stress how important this is because over your career, let's say over a year or so, if you keep getting those one R trades versus the three R trades or the two R trades, that means that you're earning less amount of money on your winners you're earning a third of what you could have earned with the same trade idea and the same trade commissions. That's something that's big, right? So you have two things, right? You're gonna pay for shares. If you're trading with a broker that has commissions, you're gonna have a trading idea, you're gonna buy a certain amount of shares, you're gonna pay a certain amount of commissions, and you'll make more by getting in faster. Also, what's not considered is on the exit. So let's say on the exit, I then, I wanted to exit, and I you know, I saw this candle push, and I wanted to exit, but I have to go to drag my mouse over to the sell button. Once this is going down, let's say I exit here, okay? Because it took me some time. Now I know that these are one minute candles, uh, which show you the 10 second, but I can't do that here in Tradezilla. Principle is fast entry, fast exit, once I wanna exit. Even taking partials, let's say I take 50% here, and then I wanna take 50 here. You know, if I get it, getting it here is different than down here. So now this becomes a one, our trade. So not only did I get in late, but I exited late and now I risked a thousand to make a thousand. So some people, they come to me and they, they're like, Hey man, you know, my strategy is a one hour strategy. And I'm like, is it really by getting in faster? We just, even with the late exit, this is still a one to three trade. So these are the things that we want to uh, consider when it comes to hotkeys. Now let's talk about hotkeys in specific. What's the minimum that you want to have? All right, so let's take a look at the keyboard. The minimum we want to have buy keys, but we don't only want to buy, we want to make these as specific as possible. Uh, Thinkorswim has the least sophisticated hotkeys, but programs like Dash Trader Pro, Lightspeed, Sterling Trader Pro, they have more sophisticated hotkeys. So if I press buy, that's one thing. And then I want to be able to sell as well or you know, close positions. I also wanna be able to cancel orders. That's something else I wanna be able to do. Now here's where we can get really fancy. Let's say I wanna assign 
to uh, either I want to buy a certain amount of shares, say, give me buy a thousand shares, buy 5,000 shares. So I can do that with hotkeys. Not only can I say buy a certain amount of shares, but I also can set up uh, different order types. I can say buy the ask, buy the bid, sell the ask, sell the bid. So if you're scalping, I'd say a good set would be you have a row of hotkeys for buying, different custom hotkeys, and you have a row of hotkeys for selling. You can place these anywhere you want. And then I have at least one button for canceling, canceling all the orders. And you can become more complex. I think this is just a minimum. And you'll have modifiers like shift or uh, control or alt that you could use. Now, I did something where I can design my hotkeys in a way that would allow me to program my risk based on my stop size and my risk would be pre-programmed. Some platforms are, it's easier to do this. You can do it in a dynamic way where it'll set your risk based on a certain percentage of your account. So that's something that you could do. If you can't do that, I think most platforms will allow you to do what I'm gonna tell you right here. So you can predetermine your risk. So let's take a 60K account. Okay, it's a margin account and we wanna take $600 risk per trade. This is 1% per trade. So let's say we're gonna do $600 per trade. Now, what I did is there's a this spreadsheet. I'll share it with you. Click the description below and you will see the spreadsheet. And you can program if you have a cash account, put your margin, cash account, account size, and all of that, and it'll help you uh, with your risk planning, okay? So what I did is here, uh, when you put this number in, it'll give you the amount of shares you need to buy in order to risk uh, the amount of money that you want to risk. Let's say we want to risk 600 bucks and if we have a 10 cent stop loss, then I'm going to be buying 6,000 shares. So let's say that that's the case. You may have to make some adjustments based on fills, but this is hypothetical at this moment. You, you have your own account size. You have to make adjustments. Okay. What I would say is to use the number keys and you can, you can program yours differently, but you can use the number keys to program your hot keys and base them on your stop size. So we go back to this key. So what I'm gonna do, this, so this one would be 10 cents, this is 20, this is 30, and so forth and so on. This is 90 cents, and then this is a dollar. Give me the, um, buy the amount of shares, okay? So it's gonna be, if I hit one, I'm gonna say buy 6,000 shares at the ask. And then I can program that number. When I, when I set up the hotkeys, I can say, uh, give me the 20 cent, give me the 30 cent, give me the 40, give me the 50, give me the 60 and so forth and so on. And that way, I don't actually have to think about the amount of shares that I wanna buy. I can just focus on my, my stop size. This may become more challenging uh, when you need to split up your risk, but this is a good way, in my opinion, uh, from the beginning. Or what you can do is you can program this uh, per share size. So this may be 100 shares, buy, buy 100 shares at the ask, 200, 300, 400. And then you discern based on the stop loss size and cents what you want to do, right? Because that formula is shares equals uh, your, your dollar risk amount divided by a stop loss size. You can either program your keys to based on a certain amount of shares, or you can program your keys based on your stop size. It's, it's personal preference. There's pros and cons to each one, but I just wanted to present this as an alternative. Now for the sell side, um, what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, my Z may be sell the full position, X may be half, and C may be a fourth. And this is how I can scale out of positions pretty easily with one key, right? So I'll do sell the bid or sell full. That will allow me to easily close a full position, half or fourth. And then if I close half, then obviously I'm gonna have to uh, use this multiple times, right? Um, and this one, it's a cancel button. so. Let's say I put in an order and I wanna easily cancel that order, then I need to be able to use that key really quickly. I hit the key and then boom, I'm out. Uh, these hotkeys are significant and I'm gonna show you now how to use them and how to set them up in Lightspeed. I've been using Lightspeed uh, recently, more recently, and I want to show you how to set these up in Lightspeed. You can, you can use this as a principle. So maybe different for, for your broker, but I'm gonna show you how to do it in Lightspeed. All right, so in Lightspeed, I made a modifications to the hotkeys file. And uh, this is pretty easy. If you go to settings, a few things you wanna look at here. Basically, you wanna find out how to set up custom orders. 
So I have these commands buy a hundred. Uh, this is a this is a dollar ask. 10 cent ask, 20 cents ask. These are all of my hotkeys for buying from the ask based on stop loss. And this is how it will look if you do sell half bid, sell full bid, sell a fourth of the bid. Um, so I'm gonna show you one of these and I, I made this file for you. I'm gonna create one real quick, um, but I wanna show you how it works. So let's say um, I'm at MULN and I've programmed this key so that we can do, we can do a bunch of these real quick without much repercussions so here it says uh, this is a type a custom order this is the name this is when I, when my stop loss is 100 cents was a dollar this is the market this is the limit order uh, this is a buy limit and i want to buy from uh, through the ask and i have this increment of uh, 0 0.01 okay one cent and then um the quantity is just 13 i just put in just a small little quantity there and without position to close it's 13 as well and when you hit map key then if i go here to buy uh, the custom command is going to be here and then i can you can map it using this key right so this is shift zero and you can press map if i do control zero and i press map then what will happen is the key will change right to control zero so i'm going to close this out and then i'm going to click control zero so opening 13 ml muln all right so here's the order here muln it's 106 so i opened that up i uh, bought 13 shares uh, if you see these i was just testing out just before, right before i did this video just to make sure that these are there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit Control z boom and it sold the shares easily uh, you don't see me doing anything with the mouse right i'm in boom and i'm out now what does Control z look like so Control z looks like this if I look at the custom orders and I look at sell half a sell full bid, I go to custom orders, I look at sell full bid, I double click it, the name is sell full bid, market is NASDAQ, limit order, the bid here, that's through the bid, uh, decrement it down to 0 0.01 so that I don't get like whatever price it's at, like I said, if it's at 1.66, okay, $1.66, my limit is going to be $1.66 or one cent lower so when you set up these orders like sell the ask or sell the bid what happens is it'll give you an immediate fill or your limit will be at one cent lower or higher depending on where you are so here order size with full with position to close close out full position um so that's what i'll be doing without positions close is just zero uh, i could do quantity right but i'm um, this is a close out for light speed and that's just full position. This is how you see fourth position, half position, uh, three fourths of position. And when you go to map key now, I already have this key mapped, but I'm going to change this to shift. So I can remove all of these and I want to do shift Z. It's taking me to shift Z. So for a bit, uh, are you sure you want to remap it? Yes. Press OK. Boom. That's that one. And then cancel. So how do I cancel? So if I go to my keyboard, they already have these close out orders. So close out, sorry, they already have cancel order keys. So these cancel order keys here, cancel all, I have it for control V. We can buy easily, all right, control zero, boom, open that order. Then I'm gonna hit control Z or shift Z now, I changed it, boom, close it, done. So that right there is how fast, how we get in quickly, boom, we're in, right? Boom, we're out. And that's just within seconds. And that's how we can maximize the amount of money that we'll make when, when trading. Now, you can you can get really crazy with hotkeys. I'm gonna do a part two later on. Just let me know in the comments if you wanna see that and see how you can customize your orders to maximize on your gains for your specific scenario. You can buy the ask, you can buy the bid, you can set up stop orders, all types of things in order to uh, become faster with getting in and getting out of the market. Please like and subscribe. If you want to see an interview with an eight-figure trader, Lance Breitstein, one of the best of our generation, me and him sit down, we have a discussion. He talks about hotkeys, he talks about how he made eight figures in one trade, which I'm marching towards. I want to become one of the best, so I'm, tr I'm trying to interview and bring back the gyms. So watch that interview here.